Hello everyone and welcome back to JCB Pioneer Mars, a game where we are colonizing the red planet using futuristic JCB equipment that is also a mining simulator. And uh, as you know, we have some problems regarding the power and uh, we need to fix that as soon as possible. But another thing that I would like to, that I would also like to do is um, something that you might have noticed by the hissing sound is that we also have some uh, problems with our base, which is uh, because the buildings are actually damaged and uh, we need to fix that. So first, well, the first thing that we need to do, I think, is go to the trade post here and uh, bring the mission up to power up our colony a little bit more. And as you know, I'm a big fan of solar panels, so I'm really more than happy actually to <laughs> to build more solar panels for our base. So let's place one over here. And this solar panel is not extremely difficult to make, as you know, um, or as you will learn in a second. And uh, requires materials that we actually have currently in our possession. So let's bring our trusty, um, our trusty. So we have six. Okay, so we have that. This is repair material. I don't need that for the moment. But another thing that I want to bring with us before we actually go for our amazing vehicle is learned by, I mean, learning by mistakes from yesterday or from last time. We will take some battery packs with us, just, you know, just so we uh, actually can uh, survive for a little bit more out there. And we, if we run out of power, we will be actually able to, to you know, deal with this stuff easily and uh, that would not be an end of our uh, premature end of our adventure so we have a storage unit right now which is amazing basically this is something really cool so we can take all the materials from our hub that was um, designed to store them initially and go over to our solar panel see what kind of resources we need to pick or are not big, but actually loads over there. And we need to um, put inside some copper. We have that. Some iron. We have that as well. Nickel and silica. We don't have that. So all of that will drop off into our newly built um, um, uh, storage unit. But first, let's fix those solar panels while we are here. Because we want our solar panels to produce as much electricity as possible, so... So when, when they are damaged, as you can see, they produce a little bit less power, and we don't like that. I mean, I don't like it. So... So let's fix that. Okay, this is done. That's great. What's in this crate? I'm pretty curious. Refined copper. Magnesium. Refined iron, sanitation tablets, fabric. I mean, is this a stuff that we've actually brought? So this is, you know, what is it doing here? I have absolutely no idea. Interestingly, we also have a resource node that is indicated on our hand that is pretty far away. And I'm actually curious what it is. Although, I am a little bit afraid right now that... Uh, if a uh, sunstorm will catch us, or a dust storm will catch us out in the open, we might not survive it. <laughs> I would really like to avoid that. I'm enjoying my um, new JCB truck. So, um, yeah, so I would like to avoid getting caught in the, uh, in the open. So, maybe what we'll do... You know, whoa, 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 I bumped into, oh, the, oh, take a look at that, the garage is also broken, so, okay, so I bumped into the uh, crate there, <laughs> so let's uh, refill uh, and repair our truck, refill the oxygen, vehicle's already fully charged, that's great, and um, what's here, the oxygen, no, and I need repair material, right, and uh, I will repair it. Cool.
cool. Okay, so I'll put the battery over here as well, so we can recharge recharge our truck. I think, I mean, we should be able to do that. That would be great. And now, let's see where we shall go. There's one node over there, one is hyper distant, and one is right over here. And I am actually pretty curious, what is this one? Resource pool found. There is a radiation zone somewhere nearby. Come, I can't, I'll be lying to you if I tell you well, I can see it. Can't. Resource pool found. Another resource pool somewhere that I can't see. It's interesting. That is very interesting. Hmm. Am I going the right way? Doesn't look like so. Maybe I am. I'm just uh, not paying attention. <laughs> okay. Ten iron, five nickel, five copper, ten silica. I've already dropped some stuff, so that is great. So at least we know that. Which is a great fun to this is the location where we uh, found the um, power coupler, right? Or something. I think it was here. Okay. Oops. Let's climb that hill. Right. Dust Devils. That is okay. I mean, I think. <laughs> Let's see. I think we've been to this uh, resource node already. I, I actually do remember it. I think we've been here before. It doesn't look like it's come. Which is pretty interesting because it would suggest that... Um, you see it does not appear on the map. So it would suggest that... Um, And those resource pools maybe are spawning when we need them. That'll be interesting. Definitely an interesting, interesting thing. And I've been actually wondering if those solar panels that we have, they actually do look like, um, you know, a uh, decoration, not a functional solar panels, but it would be pretty cool if we could actually deploy them and uh, recharge our track a little bit using those built-in solar panels. Yeah, but I haven't found an option to do that. Although it would be pretty dope, actually, if we could, like, have, um, you know, deployable solar panels for our JCB X18 and uh, could use it to actually power the vehicle up uh, during the day. That would be pretty, co pretty cool. Okay, so we need a little bit more nickel, right, and then copper from another location. Okay, so we have nickel. And then it's telling us to go almost four kilometers away to get to copper. Do we want to go that far? I am rather, <laughs> rather not very happy about going that far. The dust devils are here that I do not like because they can shock us. But I'm pretty sure that there might be another mining zone with uh, copper somewhere closer, like here. So yeah, so there is another zone where we can mine copper that's much closer. But uh, are those dust devils gone? If they are gone, then I'm going totally, I'm totally going to drive directly through it. So yeah, do we want to drive for um two kilometers into the unknown? Obviously, we want to. This is this this game is all about exploration, so I think we should totally do it. But first, let's drop the stuff that we've just car we've just got. And uh, whoa, what's this corrosive zone? I'm not worried about corrosive zones, not with my hyper cool shielding.
Although, I actually don't need to drive for that one. <laughs> yeah, let's go over here. And back home. Right, let's try to be careful and not bump into stuff all too often, because that is always dangerous. So we'll drop the resources in our base, then uh, refill and repair everything that I've damaged and used so far. Still should have quite a lot of oxygen uh, in the canisters, a little bit of power, extra power in the batteries. So that is okay. And um, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Unless that is, we get caught into the uh, in the uh, by, by the storm, right? Then we will not be okay. Oh look, this is also broken. Let's fix that. Now off to drop our resources. So three kilometers. This is pretty far. This is pretty far. That's actually way further than we've ever ventured so far. Have some silica. And we have the nickel. So the only thing that we are missing is the copper. And it's telling us to go very far away. Shall we go very far away? I'm tempted to say yes. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's two kilometers away from here, directly into that somewhere. Iron magnesium. Pure copper, pure chromium. Pure iron. Is this... I mean, is this this, this one? Aluminium, pure copper. Is this actually indicated on the map? Copper 35%. So maybe it's this one actually. Might be that one. Let's see if they match. Can't tell. Honestly, I can't tell. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, let's go and see. This is going to be interesting. Definitely scary. So we have 2 kilometers to drive and 14.6 kilometers left to basically um, you know, in the range wise, and 14 minutes to in the oxygen. So we should totally make it if everything goes right. And as we know, that's usually not the case. Resource pool found. Where is that resource pool that we have found? Can't see it. Can't be that one. I, I have a feeling that those resource pools are actually spawning. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, there weren't that many last time we were here. I'm pretty sure that this is something new that we're seeing. Okay, so we found some very interesting entry into that canyon over there. The last time. Level 6 corrosive zone. That might be a little bit too much for our shielding, but let's not be worried about that. Oh, do you see that? That is interesting. What we have here. Let's see. Aluminium, magnesium, titanium, pure iron, pure copper, pure nickel. There are some interesting rock formations over there. I'm pretty curious what it is. A 
like those ones, those tall pillars. That is pretty cool looking. There are some meteor showers over there. Oh, oh we, want that. we don't want to be driving into those. Those are always dangerous. Whoa. <laughs> it's getting intense. Oh, I know that we should not be driving directly into that location, but I'm pretty curious what are those pillars over there. Oh, I want to check them out. And since I'm less afraid right now that uh, we will um, run out of oxygen and power, because we're better prepared, let's let's call it that way this time. So um, I'm gonna drive a little bit closer and see if, uh, if this is something that we can actually, you know, level 4 radiation zone. I'm not worried. So th those are just rocks, right? Although I must say, they look pretty interesting. Okay, there, is a, there are some interesting resource pools as well from here. Okay, so, yeah. Hmm. Some crates as well. Interesting place, that's for sure. Okay, let's go to our mining zone. I mean, this area is less. I would say so far it's been less, much less dangerous, and uh, much less hard to navigate than the last one. Glacial zone as well. Oh, that's a new one. That is something I haven't seen yet. How... What is going on? <laughs> like, I haven't seen that before. I don't know what to do. How do, how do you combat that? What do you do? Inside level 6 glacial zone. This... This is interesting. Okay. And uh, what does it do? Draining our health slowly. And probably discharging the battery pretty hard as well. That's what frost does normally, right? Okay, 500 meters left only. So we're getting closer. Another resource pool. We don't know what, what's here. This one's not detected yet. We are not allowed to know. Looks like uh, you have to follow the tutorials to the letter. Oh look, another crashed ship. Oh, this is pretty interesting. What is it? What is it? Looks like another base. Mm, this is pretty cool. Blue gold. Titanium. Lubricants. Medicine. Gears. Okay, let's take gears. Let's take that blue gold. And uh, titanium alloy. Looks pretty rare. Let's take that. Okay. Our mining zone is pretty close. I mean, yeah, we're actually starting level 13 meteor shower. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'll have nothing. I'll have none of that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that was a that was an interesting excursion, I must say. Iron, chromium, titanium. And why are we here? Okay, so I'll just mine it once. And I need copper, not some bloody iron. Damn. This is not cool. Look how far we, we went. It's like we're totally very far away now. Okay, what was here? Silica, pure platinum. No. 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 Gold, titanium, platinum. That's not what I need. That is not what I need. I need copper. And, um... Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. That is not good. Power approaching 50%. See? I'm prepared now. Okay, level 12 corrosive zone. No, I'm not driving towards you, my friend. You know what I figured as well? That could be... That, that's potentially an interesting thing to do. And we can... Um, provided I brought some more... Uh, <laughs> repair ammo <laughs> that I haven't. Uh, we could repair our truck as well. Inside level 13 meteor shower. Okay. We don't know what is inside this vein. But let's see if we can mine it anyway and uh, be extremely lucky. And that will be copper. <laughs> <laughs> Pure Europium. And um, by... Um, and by some extreme luck we obviously also have our uh, cargo hold full now. So what we need to do is go back home, drop all that stuff, and uh, basically go look for copper somewhere where we know that it actually is present. Okay, so we had a, um, well, well, I would call it rather uneventful voyage back home, but uh, yeah, that wasn't exactly true, <laughs> as you can see by uh, relatively low levels of uh, health and the power and uh, the oxygen. But uh, yeah, it was a, little, a bit, um, I mean, it wasn't that much interesting, actually, so I decided that uh, I won't be showing you all that, although we safely made it safely made it back, which is great, which is something that I uh, should be pretty happy about. So what we are going to do right now is I'll drop everything from the cargo hold into our storage area over there. First, repair obviously our amazing JMC X18. And then we won't be actually following the indicators over there because those are directing us towards the iron node that, as you know, we don't really need anymore. And um, I'm really interested, what is that blue gold? 10 slots, yep. Titanium alloy, that looks like a relatively, relatively um, high-end go goods. So I'm pretty happy that we've actually picked them. And the pure europium is even better. Okay, so now. What we want to do is find a, a copper node that is nearby, like this one. <laughs> this one looks um, looks really cool. I'm going over there. And um, yeah. It's close, it's friendly, it's not far away. We don't have to go into dangerous areas, so we'll quickly get the copper and I'll join you in a second. Okay, so we've got the copper now, and now it's time to finish construction of our solar panel. Copper, there you go, thank you. And solar panel should be ready. So now, yeah, so now the only thing left to do is to connect it to the power grid, and um, I think we should be fine in terms of, you know, at least power production. But first, let's grab a little bit of that repair material, because I'm pretty... Pretty happy that we actually have it. <laughs> it's proven to be very useful. Okay, so... Whoa! Look at how many research points we've got. And unfortunately only 15,000 JCB credits, which is... Uh... Okay. Take a look at the price of that blue gold. How much is pure uh, europium and titanium alloy? Nice. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, look. Sunstorm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Problem is, I haven't, um, I haven't parked our JMC X18 properly, and I'm afraid that it will be destroyed by the sunstorm. Oh, well. Remember to park your vehicle. Okay. This is now powered. So, I suppose with the newly built solar panels, once the dust storm passes, we won't have shortage problems anymore. 
and uh, we will continue expanding our base in the future videos so thank you very much for watching i hope that you've enjoyed if you enjoyed please consider liking this video if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing i would also like to thank shirax and all my other patrons on patreon your continuous support is very important to me and very helpful you can also find me on vidme and on twitch links are in the description my name is mark Frim, and i will see you next time bye